Hello, in this short video I'm going to show how to test a mobile application with Worksoft Certify using Capture. If I look, the mobile um, interface is selected. All I'm going to do is click Record and Capture, and now I'm going to start working with my mobile device. I'll go to Find a Device, I'll find a device I want to run, test, say an iPhone, and this will start connecting to the device. I'm using Xperia Test as my device cloud. So the great thing about Xperia Test is I can have cloud hosted devices when I need lots of devices and varieties, and they support local attached devices. So if I want to have a private device cloud with just USB attached devices, I can do that also. Now I'll come into my application and I'll launch it. I'll select Instrumented and Restart. What this means is instrumenting I'll get a little bit of extra information for my objects and restart means that the app's running it'll actually restart it for me so I know I start in the right spot. So I can see in my capture window on the right what's actually happening. As I enter information, so I entered company, and I've entered my password. So in this case, what on the right you'll see the information is showing up. So I click the login. Oops, I had an extra click in there. I'll fix that later. I'll make a payment. And I'll give it a name. And I select a country for my spinner. and I'll say send payment. So what you'll notice is as I'm working with the device and I'm clicking labels and buttons and so forth, they're showing up in the capture window on the right in real time. So I can see what I'm actually doing with my application. And then what I'll do is take this full life cycle. I'll go to apps, and I'll stop my error bank, and I'll go to my device, and I'll disconnect. So all those actions have actually showed up here in capture. So I'll stop my capture, I had one extra click in there. When I clicked next to the login button, that narrative, eh, if I don't need that step, all I have to do is click delete and remove it. Great, so now I have my test. So I'll just save this off. And now I'll bring this in to, to certify. So the idea is I did my um, discovery and authored my test in Capture. And now what I'm gonna do is import it into certify and actually run it. So I'll come over to my place where I keep my tests and what I'm going to do is do a right click and say import my capture. Call that mobile 3 and I'm going to give it a name I have some different options. I can create sub-processes, I can search all the projects, update my object images. Now in this case I've assigned it to my application Mobile V1. When I have multiple versions of an app, I can pick the different versions so my object library gets created automatically. So now I have my test Mobile 3. Let's go look, look at it. So the nice thing about working with Certify is all the tests work the same way. Um, in this case, I said look for the mo for the iPhone. I'm going to go pass that into variable called device ID. And then on my connect device, it connected to 5, but I'm going to change that to be a variable also. So what this means is if I have multiple iPhones out there in my device cloud or locally attached, and I need to um, connect to different ones, I've just removed the concept of the hard-coded device ID and made it really simple. Okay, So if we look at my test, it kind of looks like what I did. It says, let's go look for the iPhone, grab it, launch the app, enter the username and the password, different data. Um, I put $50 as the um, phone number. Eh, maybe I'll correct that and say, pretty easy to edit these tests. I don't have to learn how to code, just enter the data. And now all I have to do is run it. 
So I'll just start my test. And there's my execution window, and we'll run. So I'm going to just reopen the execution window on the right so I can see it. So I can see what's happening. It's found the device. It's connecting to the device. Remember, this is a cloud hosted device, so it's actually pulling it up for me. And then the test will run. So there's my iOS device. I'm not going to launch it. There's my application launching. And we'll see on the right, as each action happens, we'll get a passed. So now we can see it's entering the information. Click the login. We'll make the payment. So what you notice is the the narrative on the right is very similar no matter what you're working with. If it's an iPhone, an Android, a web page, or a Windows application, uh, we make it very easy uh, to work with. And you tend to work with things the same way. So now I can see my test is run and everything's passed. Okay? So here's a simple example of how to build a test of a mobile device with capture. And you can see how easy it is to maybe correct the capture, delete a step or variableize your test or actually change some data in your test.